Welcome to Predictability, the milkman, the paperboy, the evening TV. Crossing and welcome to Friday. I'm Hallie. And I'm Jesse. Well, let's see, it is the last full week of the month. That is strange. Plus, there are only three more days left in this nine weeks. Wow, this year is just flying by. Yeah, I know. But I'm glad it's the weekend. Let's find out about the weather. So, what can you tell us, guys? Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Hallie, and this is weather. Today's forecast is cloudy with a high of 74 and a low of 45. The high today is the highest temperature recorded on this day since 1961, when the high, when the high was 69 degrees. And now with lunch. Today we are having Bosco steaks, grilled chicken, or a popcorn sandwich. This all sounds great. That's it for me. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. Here are ways you can give back. Remember to bring in the children's board book for the Mommies to Be program. These are due by March 24th. Also, I discussed yesterday you can bring in teddy bears to help children involved in drunk driving incidents. Next up, I have some deadline reminders. If you are interested in applying for yearbook, applications are due to today to Ms. Fuller. And if you are interested in joining our news team, applications are due by next Friday to Mrs. Music. And then this is a deadline for you seniors. The Southwestern City Schools Educational Foundation Scholarship application is now available at the website listed. The deadline is Friday, March 3rd, 2017. Now, club days. Today we have GSA at 3.30 Mr. Osborne's room. And then looking at next week. Wednesday is Common Bible Study after school. Also next Wednesday is the Key Club Officers Meeting. And then Thursday is Guitar Club. Next up we have Wolfgang and Ethan with information on potential new planets discovered. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Wolfgang. And I'm Ethan. And recently, NASA has found a new Earth-like planet or orbiting a star not so far away. They had a press conference on Wednesday. During the press conference, the scientists got a lot of questions about planets surrounding TAPEST-1. Much of the time was explaining the significance of the discovery. Scientists spot an entire solar system of Earth-like planets, many of which could support life. Just maybe if we can make it that far, we can someday live on those planets. Yeah, that would be really cool. Well, that's all from us. Back to you, anchors. That's interesting. Blah, 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 blah. That's interesting. Thanks, Wolfgang and Ethan. Now, let's over to the locker room for sports. Good morning, Central Crossing. I'm Gavin. And here's sports. Here's information on spring sports. Softball tryouts began this week and continue for the next two weeks. Meet in the ox gym at 3.30. You must have a physical on file to try out. Baseball tryouts also began this week. Again, you must have a physical on file to try out. Weather permitting, plan to meet at 3.30 on the varsity field. And then, track and field practice begins March 6th. All students are encouraged to join the program. For further information, contact coaches Reggie Cannon, Sarah Hall, or Coach O'Kandai. That's all for today. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, guys. Next, we have a reminder. The school counseling office would like to kindly remind students that they are responsible for remembering appointments they have met, made to meet with your school counselor. This is a busy time of the year and not showing up for an appointment takes time away from other students who could also be meeting with their counselor. Please be respectful of everyone's time and make sure you write down your appointment times and perhaps set a reminder for yourselves. And now, here is Today in History. <laughs> February 24, 1868. In Washington, Andrew Johnson becomes the first American president to be impeached. The House of Representatives impeaches Johnson after he tries to fire Secretary of War Edwin Stanton. Johnson is later acquitted by a single vote in the Senate. 1920. What becomes known as the Nazi Party holds its first major meeting in Munich, Germany. Under Adolf Hitler, the Nazis later turn Germany into a dictatorship that brings World War II and the Holocaust. 1945, American forces liberate the Philippine capital of Manila from Japanese control in the final months of World War II. 1981, in London, Buckingham Palace announces Britain's Prince Charles and Lady Diana Spencer are engaged. Their wedding takes place later that year. 
The couple separates, then divorces in the following decade. And 1999. Lauren Hill wins five Grammys for her debut solo album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. She sets a record for a female artist that has since been tied by Alicia Keys, Nora Jones, and Beyonce. That was very interesting. Well, that is it for today. Have a great Friday. And a fun and safe weekend. See you Monday, Central.